Okay, um, thank you everybody for attending this talk on Cucumbery. Uh, my name is Kenneth and I'm here trying to get all of you iOS engineers excited with BDD straight in Xcode. So here's some information about myself. I am currently the mobile technical iOS lead at Property Guru. Um, so here are some the information about myself, e links to my email, GitHub uh, profile, Medium, uh, Medium post, uh, LinkedIn, um, LinkedIn link and my interests are in Agile, Extreme Programming and Test. Um, you, have, you probably might have seen me before because I've given two tech talks here in iOS Dev Scout. Uh, one was in July 2016 uh, where I introduced XCUI test and another one was later in November 2016 where I showcased um, dynamic library code injection and how to use that technique to hack the Pokemon Go app. So let me poll the audience right now. Um, to, uh, because I want, uh, maybe we can understand your engineering practices and habits. Um, show of hands, how many people write unit tests at work? Test? Okay, good. Half, half of the audience. What about UI test? Half of the half is writing UI test. Um, are anyone familiar with APM? Any, anyone using APM at work? Uh, good. Um, what about Calabash? Testing two. Ah, we have one here. Um, and anyone familiar with the tool Cucumber? Cucumber? Okay, we have a hand over there. Thank you. So, um, this talk will be awesome for many of you because it gives you insights of how to bring behavior-driven development, BDD, Cucumber, straight into Xcode. So, here's the agenda for the session today. Um, as this is a 20-minute uh, talk, I will, I will give a short introduction on Cucumber, Gherkin, BDD. Um, for especially those that who are not familiar with um, behavior-driven development. Um, short little notes on cross-platform mobile testing tools, and then I go straight into introducing Cucumberish, and then straight to the hands-on demo. Okay, um, BDD, behavior-driven development. Uh, many of you will associate this with uh, given when then, um, but note, just, just writing given when then uh, files doesn't mean you're doing BDD. It is a collaboration process where the development team work with the product owner or stakeholders and they come together to, with the developers and testers to draw up structured software specifications that can be later written as automated tests. So in the diagram over here, uh, you can see that we have the product owner and users having conversation about what they actually need. And then next, the product owner, developer, tester, they come together to create the requirements and they define the requirements as structured scenarios. And later, these scenarios can, can guide the de developer and can be written as automated tests. And the tester can use these scenarios as basis for the, for the test. So the output of this, these scenarios, um, the specs, are features in BDD terms. And technically, we write them in, into feature files. And this is how a feature file looks like. It is written using the Gherkin language basically English words written in a particular way so that the test can be automated. And it's characterized by the three words, the three popular words given when and then. So you'll be asking me, how is anyone able to automate this, this script or this file? Um, the main tool that, um, that, that engineers use to, to automate feature files is Cucumber. And Cucumber is a tool written in Ruby. So when the Cucumber runs the test, it, it will collect all the feature files um, in a format on the left, collect all the feature files and use the Gherkin parser to break down the files, each file into scenarios, which is on the right hand side. Um, so one scenario will be, um, this is to, to a use case for successful login. And then Cucumber will attempt to match each step Sorry, the, the, each scenario are broken into each line uh, considered as steps and Cucumber will attempt to match each step with the registered step definitions. If you happen to find one, it will execute the, the, the step definition. So in this case, um, the step that we are highlighting over here is then I should see log, successful login message. And we will need to register all the step definitions uh, prior to running the test. If anything matches, um, it will run. So in this case, um, the step definition 
Yes, yeah, you can see there's a regular expression pattern over here. Then I should see pattern message. So because this kind of matches the step that's declared in the file, um, so this part of the step definition will be run. Uh, uh, where we where in this case we are using the page object model pattern at um, current page, and we assert the the message. So there are many implementation of Cucumber. Um, there's a non UI version. Uh, you can use it for non UI purposes. Um, like Property Guru, we are actually using Cucumber to make curl calls. Given um, that the server is ready, we, we perform a curl call to a server at this particular API, and we assert that the response return are in a, form, in a particular format and structure. And for the web, for Cucumber, there is Selenium. Uh, there's a Cucumber implementation for Selenium. And of course, um, there's also for mobile. Um, Cucumber is used, can be used in APM as well as, as Calabash. So just some notes on third-party cross-platform tools. Um, that there are two popular tools in the market right now, uh, which is uh, APM and Calabash. And it's common for organizations to use these tools to test all platforms. But however, um, I think some of you guys have used it. You guys will know that um, it requires some extra setup. Um, where you may need to set up Node.js or even Java and for Calabash you probably need to set up Ruby um, and you have to run your test outside Xcode itself um, and then there's also no Swift support uh, available so I'm not saying that APM and Calabash is bad you can, you can go back to work continue to use those tools but let's look at it from an iOS engineer's point of view so let's ask us this question why have our iOS app validated by external tool outside Xcode? Why can't I run the test this um, why can't I run run cross-platform tests straight in Xcode? And why can't I write them in Swift? Because um, naturally when we write uh, features, we want to write it in Swift. And then the test implementation, if it was in Swift, it would be easier for to it would be easier to roll out the product and um, to roll out testable product. And why must, my, my, why must my mobile development be tied down to a particular testing tool? Is it because the Android team likes um, APM and that's why we, are, we have to be stuck to it, with, with it? Why not we use feature file, files to bind uh, cross-platform tests? Um, for many of our organizations, we have um, use cases which are common on both the, the web platform as well as the mobile platforms. As seen beforehand, um, we can actually use Cucumber to create feature files and then for each platform we can then decide which is the most effective tool to run the test. So with this with these questions that I've asked on and the notes of um, cross-platform tools and the opportunity to bring BDD straight into iOS development, I would like to introduce to all of you Cucumberish. So Cucumberish is a CocoaPod library that allows you to, to just drop in feature files straight into Xcode and run them just like XE unit or XE UI test. Um, so here is the web, GitHub repository for Cucumberish. This is the URL. And its author is Ahmed Ali. Um, he is the, he's currently working, he's a software engineer at Facebook. And Cucumberish, you can use you can use CocoaPod to install. You don't have to set up extra extra things um, like setting up your Node environment or Java environments. You don't have to. So you can use CocoaPod. So how easy is that? You you don't really need complicated SDK installations. Cucumberish allows execution of BDD feature files within Xcode. Uh, it has com uh, the comprehensive file parser provides features like tagging and data tables. And of course, um, if you compare that. Compare Cucumberish, running Cucumberish for BDD, for behavior driven development uh, against the third party tools. Um, it runs as, uh, it executes as fast as an XE UI test or unit test because uh, later I'll show you it actually runs the, the XE test itself. So when scenarios fail, Cucumberish will actually highlight the failing step as an error directly on the feature in Xcode. And because you're running all this in Xcode, you can, you can create a single XEUI test for running, target for running the test, and then take advantage of multiple uh, XE schemes to select subsets of tests to execute. 
and of course cucumber which we have already in, in uh, Swift. So now I'll go straight to the hands-on demo. So let me, I prefer to mirror my displays right now. Yeah. Okay, good. Um, so, um, oh, shit. sorry, I might want to make it bigger. Okay, can you guys see or you need it need to be bigger? Yeah, uh, yeah. All right. <laughs> okay. Okay. Cool. Um, so um, this cube, so this is the. Uh, I'll first show you what the the product actually is. So. Uh, so this uh, the main product is a very 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 simple uh, weather app. Okay, so um, this weather app, um, this is the use case. We type a location, let's say um, Hell, Hell, is this, is this how it works? Okay. Yeah, and then you, you tap on the cell, yeah, so the, re the, the results will be populated into the table view. You tap on the cell, it calls a different API to populate the, the, the to populate the details. So in this simple example, I just take the temperature and then the description of the weather and then if you type in something that's garbage um, let's say garbage um, you have like no location found okay so this this is the use case of the product so i've i've run cocoa pots and set up um set up the project so where we want to start off is with this file called um it's basically a a uh, file which is subclass of NS, NS object and here we will be having a, a, a function it can be a class function or, or a instance variable function it doesn't really matter much so here is sorry let me delete all this first because this is my secret source so um, so this is the class where, do, where cucumberries will do its magic so before it's something like for exit test the setup function where you want where it will execute um, this set of code before each test. And over here, um, this is where uh, Cucumber which will start. Um, very simple. Basically, you just pass in the the folder the folder name which is over here. We specify over here. Pass in the bundle, and then you can include text as well, which I will show it to you later. Okay, um, so there's another file that uh, that we need to know. Um, this is the it's an Objective C file um, where it's, a, it's basically a function that that has the attribute constructor uh, modifier. So what this does is when the exit test the classes in exit test bundle is loaded into memory, this function will get called, and from here it will actually call the Cucumber initializer class and call the setup cucumber with function. And all these are performing way before exit test starts. So this is actually one of the techniques you can actually um, hijack applications and mess things up. Okay, cool. So let's start off with writing our first feature file. Let me see. Um, so for the first example, I'll just type it out. So let's call it um, search whether the valid search dot feature okay cool so I would uh, my notes so let's type it out feature whether location search so this is the description of the feature file so uh, each feature file will have a scenario so let, let's say able to search weather so now I start to write the given when then. So let's say given I am on weather search, search screen when I search for Tokyo. Uh, then I should see Tokyo 
in results. Um, can you guys follow through? So I'm typing, I, I'm typing the word Tokyo in the, in the search bar and I should see Tokyo somewhere in the results. So next, um, let's see. When I tap Tokyo in results, then I should be on weather details screen. Okay, so now I'm in the weather details screen. Uh, there are four lines that appear on the view controller. So now I want to assert those values. Then I should see Tokyo in detail screen. So there are four lines, so I will just copy. Um, and then I think that should be Japan. I think it is 9 degrees Celsius. I don't know. So let's see whether it passes. And I think it is sunny in Japan. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so um, so let's start. So I've written the feature file. Let's try to run the test. Um, <coughs> let's go to the UI test scheme and I'll run. Okay. So everything's like normal, just like an XC UI test. Um, Very cool, the app is loaded, but then it fails and it of course um, crashes my app, my Xcode. <laughs> oh, wow, I wonder what happened. That's a real crash. That's a real crash, thanks. Uh, let's run it again. So now it fails without crashing the whole system. Um, so now um, it fails at this step because um, let's, let's see the logs. The logs. Where are you? Logs. Hello, logs. So the logs say, "Hey, um, this step is not implemented." So of course we need to go and implement the step. Uh, so let's do it here. Um, and of course I won't be cutting up this time. I have a cheat sheet. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> So I am. So this is the step definition. Um, it's uh, prefixed by given. So I write the given, and then I am, I am on weather screen. So this pattern will be. Cucumber will try to match this pattern uh, with any of the steps that it reads, and then, uh, as you can see here, um, what I'm trying to do is that I try to assert. Um, if you're familiar with XC UI test, I'm, I'm try, I've added the, the accessibility identifier into the production code and I'm trying to wait for it to appear. So the, the helper function over here, um, I create a predicate which waits for exist equals true and apply that on the XC UI element and I'm using XCT waiter to, to wait for it um, for time at 5. So if it's, um, if it's not, if result equals not completed, then I'll fail the test. Okay, so I return a uh, step definition, I run. Can I ask which element do you type the accessibility weather search field? Oh, can, you can ask. <coughs> I have to find out where I type. <laughs> okay, uh, so I think we can do this, right? We can do this, uh, it's somewhere, uh -huh. I peg it inside the view controller. So this is the view controller's view. Um, you can also tag it in the XIB file. Um, um, but one good way to test whether accessibility identifier works is to use the inspector. And I think the inspector is somewhere here. Yes. Then you can just navigate and play around, around a bit. Okay, so uh, we were distracted and let me see. Oh, we, something failed. Something failed. Something failed. But, but now you can see that. I have accepted on this stage um, and then now the failure is on, on when I search for Tokyo. So now um, let's go straight to 
finishing up let it, let it pass. So uh, I think this is this one. Let me go back. So um, so I, I can just briefly explain. I search for something um, for this um, string. Sorry? Oh. Yeah, I search for this string. So basically, I want to I want to find the search bar and I tap it and I apply the text onto the search bar. I should see this string in results. Um, so I will actually I get the text from the argument from the from this step pattern, and then I wait for it to appear. And I think why it says that I'm looking for for the cells on the application. Um, make sure that the, there's a label inside one of the cells in the application with this text. And then I tap the string in results. I'm doing the same thing. Um, finding, getting the argument from the first argument from the, the step pattern. And, as, and then finding the label and then tapping it. And then I, I do another assertion that I make sure that I, that whether detail view appears on screen before I start to assert the other things on, on the detail screen. So, and then once again, I will just do, um, like for this step pattern, I will just do actually your application static text text. Okay, let's start to run the test, which I have a feeling it will fail because I don't know exactly what's the weather in Japan right now. Okay, it's 20 degrees, partly cloudy. Let's see. 20 degrees. 20 degrees. Uh, okay, cheat a bit. Okay, here we are. So, okay, now that I changed the, the values and the weather don't change, the weather in Japan don't change every second, so this should pass. Uh, the next thing I want to show you is um, that you can actually have multiple scenarios right now. So let's see. So I have multiple scenarios. Let's add another scenario over here. Um, so unable to, to search for weather. So I go to the weather search screen, I type garbage, and I should see the empty state um, on the results. And let me just copy over this one. Over here. Ta -ta. Okay, here. So, um, so what happens when you do this? Um, so let, let me share the background on how um, XC Cucumber works. It will pass each each scenario in the feature file and breaks it and form an XC test object in doing runtime. And for so each each feature file will become an XC test object doing runtime. Each step definition will become a. Why is it failing? Okay, that one. Uh, each step definition will become a method in the SD test case. And then, that's why after the when when the test has run, it can it will the output is able to be reported over here. So this will this is actually coming from this feature file and able to search whether it's actually the test method. It's very similar to your XC, XC test. So, okay, so I have um, something that passed and failed. So I, I will ignore this failing <laughs> itself. Um, so one of the, because we're running everything in XC test, so let's take advantage of schemes. So I can actually add the tag to help to filter a subset of tests I want to run. So let's try invalid. So and then the cool thing is that I can I go to my sorry, let's create a new skin. Let's try um whether invalid. Okay, right new skin. 
Okay, just gonna check, check. Uh, the, no, this not the one. This, this not the one. We move. I'll go back straight in. Do a test. Okay, bye bye. to reorder this so okay well sorry going back to here I now write I want to add a tag so tag invalid um, so we were wondering why am I why am I doing here in the scheme so, so because I have um, a set of codes over here um, where is it so I have get text and for get text what what it does it will Taking an argument for the process info, and then um, and then tokenize the the remaining string uh, with a comma separated, and pass this as text into cucumberish. So the tag I'm trying to pass in is invalid, which matches with the which matches with something over here. So now when I run the the invalid scheme, I command you. Uh, I need to add this here, of course. So now I'll command you. So when I run this scheme, uh, it, no, it will not run both of the scenarios. Um, it's, it's very similar to how you will use schemes for test, um, where you can go to the test option under the schemes, and then tick on the test case that you want to run. So if I go back to the test report, only one is run. So this um, this is a very simple setup to, to bring in cucumberish in BDD BDD straight into an Xcode project. So um, I'll finish off the slides. Oh sorry. Okay. Um, so so here are my ending notes. Um, if you are excited about Cucumberish, um, here's my tip for you guys. Um, start writing feature files. Um, if you are currently using feature files like Calabash, you can easily just drag them into Xcode and start writing your step definitions. Um, if you do not have your feature files, what you can do is um, you may want to, to work with your product owner or QA um, to convert the, the test that you write in code into given when then because given when then is a format where you can you can collaborate with non-technical people so even your CEO CTO can come in and collaborate with you um, and then your step definitions once you bring bring your feature files in you can start writing using Swift using and then combining it with the XCUI test framework but in the end if you're not happy with Cucumberish you can still continue simply continue to use feature file because feature files can be used in APM and Calabash. Maybe some guy in future will write an even better iOS Cucumber library. And if you have feature files in your iOS repository, you are ready for it. So here's um, the, the GitHub repository link for the demo application for this talk. And this is the Medium post um, as supplementary for this talk. Um, I'll be publishing it um, later tonight. So thank you. Um, Feel free to ask questions. Ah, uh, no questions. So I have one question. Uh, so out of the feature files, does the cucumber uh, generate also the template for the XC test case file that you need to fill in with all the assertions, or you need to translate them manually? Uh, with this current library, you have to trust it uh, manually. So, uh, if you are if you have used Cucumber before in Ruby, uh, whenever it cannot um, Cucumber cannot detect the step definition, it will just throw out throw out the message telling you, hey, I can't find the definition for this 
So you can actually drag and drop and paste it into your feature files, but right now for this library, it's not available. So you have to type it in yourself. Okay. Okay. No questions? Okay, I'm done. <laughs>